everyone and welcome to the lovely living planet aquarium since you guys aren't able to be here with us right now we are bringing the aquarium to you every day on our social media at three o'clock now as you can see we are here in our shark tunnel one of the funnest spots here at the aquarium to talk about one of our most well-known animals which is of course our sharks and i even have some really cool things to show you guys now sharks are well known for their teeth and if you take a look, I actually have a real shark jaw right here. This is specifically a bull shark jaw. Bull sharks are going to be one of the more open ocean sharks and they have the teeth to match. They have teeth that are good for eating medium to large size fish. And in fact, they actually have many rows of teeth in their jaw, up to six rows at a time. This is so that since they don't floss and brush their teeth, their teeth are able to just simply fall out and one will pop right into place, kind of like a conveyor belt system. Now this doesn't just work for bull sharks, it also works for our sharks here at the aquarium, such as our reef sharks. And in fact, I have some of the shark teeth from our own sharks right here at the aquarium. We have some gray reef shark teeth, we've got some black tip reef shark teeth, and we even have a sandbar reef shark tooth as well. And our divers, as they go into the exhibit to clean and maintain this enclosure every day, are able to find these teeth so we can see what the teeth from our sharks here at the aquarium look like. Now, you may think that these shark teeth look pretty big, but I have an even bigger one to show you. Yes, this is an actual shark tooth. It's from a shark that lived many millions of years ago, known as Megalodon. Now, I'm sure many of you who are watching have heard of Megalodon. Megalodon is an extinct species of shark, one of the oldest that we know of, and because the teeth are the only bony part of a shark's body, they're one of the only things that we actually have to be able to look in the fossil record at what sharks were like many millions of years ago. Now, interestingly enough, sharks haven't really changed much of their adaptation since the time of the dinosaurs and before. So we're able to look at sharks in modern day, such as this one that's right above our heads, and actually be able to make educated guesses about what sharks were like back in prehistoric times based on things like their teeth which is one of the amazing ways that science is able to look at these animals right here with us and think about animals that lived in the past. We also have some of our other sharks that are right here taking a little map that you guys can see up close. These are our nurse sharks. Now, nurse sharks have pretty different teeth. Their teeth are going to more be small rows of bumps because unlike other sharks that have sharp teeth to be able to eat fish, these guys are actually going to eat bottom creatures, especially shellfish. So their teeth are perfect for grinding and crunching their food rather than slicing and cutting. It's one of the reasons why they have the adaptation to be able to spend long amounts of time on the bottom of the ocean and their enclosure, just like you see our two nurse sharks here. I'd like to thank you guys for joining us here in our shark tunnel and at the aquarium to be able to watch these amazing videos. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for more content. Again, that will be on our social media feed at 3 p.m. Thank you everyone and have a wonderful day.